Hey everybody, so can Bitcoin hit $100,000 in 2022? Now this is not clickbait. I want you to clear your mind, get rid of all your preconceived notions. If you think about it, after the last bull run, 2017, 2018, why was nobody buying the bottom, right? Because they were convinced that it wasn't really the bottom. They were in this horrible, depressing, bear market thoughts that it must go lower. So I'm gonna present some evidence to you guys today. This might be the most important video that I've ever made. I'm gonna do this fast. I'm not gonna waste your time. Stay till the end because I'm saving the best for last. Okay, so the very first thing that I wanna talk about today is what would overvalued Bitcoin look like? You know, like if it's 100,000 or 200,000 or 500,000, is it overvalued? Well, this blows my mind. I just tweeted about this this morning. I said, if this doesn't blow your mind, you haven't thought about it long enough. Bitcoin can never be overvalued. We think of value like compared to what a business is making. You know, like if a pizza company is only making $50,000 a year, it's not worth $20 million, right? That's obvious. In the stock market, that's called PE ratio, price to earnings ratio. Price, what's the stock trading at? Earnings, how much money do they make, right? Bitcoin value is only a reflection of adoption and inflation. It is never overvalued. Do you see what I'm saying? It's it's a reflection of how much people put their money into. Look, you guys can see the likes are going up right now. Like as we talk, somebody must have just retweeted this or something. So I want you to think of Bitcoin differently than stocks or something. There is no such thing as it being overvalued. So let's get into the discussion today. All right, this is obvious. Everybody already knows this. It's absolutely insane. Tim Copeland says, this is the venture capital pouring into crypto. I'm not gonna belabor this point because you guys already mostly know this, but $10 billion came in just in Q4, okay? Now, this statistic that I'm about to show you guys right now literally blows my mind. I've shown you this before. It's the Bitcoin balance on exchanges. People usually take their Bitcoin off of exchanges if they're not going to trade it because it's safer to have it in a wallet or cold storage. You guys, it got even lower. I remember back when it was like here, you know, at this level here and these levels, we were like, oh, Bitcoin on exchanges is low. But look at this. It's the lowest it's been in three years. What the heck is going on? Like what this tells us, you guys, is that people have just made up their minds. They're like, I'm holding my Bitcoin. I'm just going to hold it. I'm not even going to look at it anymore. If it goes to 30K, oh, well, I'll be a little bit bummed, but I'm just holding it, right? This is a sign of a bear market bottom. Wait, I told you I'm going to save the best for last. I promise I will save the best for last, so keep watching. Okay, this next one also is just amazing to me. Okay, you, you see this? Will Clemente says that... There is a rush of stable coins flooding onto exchanges right now. People are moving their Bitcoin off of exchanges into cold storage, and they're moving their stable coin onto exchanges. Why would they move stable coin onto exchanges? To buy, right? To buy. Oh my gosh, my antivirus is expired. To buy. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Again, I won't belabor this point. We already know this. Companies hiring for crypto jobs, NFL, Nike, Hulu, Visa, Meta, Apple, NVIDIA, Disney, PayPal, Google, Fidelity, Amazon, the list just goes on, right? Like it's not going anywhere. Okay, let's keep moving along here. All right, this was an interesting one that I made a TikTok about. Um, go follow Caleb if you haven't already. He's a great analyst. So this is, everybody worries about interest rates. Oh no, interest rates are going up. That's gonna make risk on assets like tech stocks go down. Caleb actually noticed a correlation over the last about year and a half where you can see Bitcoin here and um, uh, interest rates here that actually they're very correlated, which means that if interest rates keep going up, then Bitcoin might keep going up as well. This is kind of a departure from the norm, but could be very bullish. We were seeing this divergence here where we thought, hmm, this actually isn't really happening anymore. But then look, it corrected. Uh, interest rates had this spike here and Bitcoin had this spike here. Now, of course, we're in this weekend where we have the Super Bowl and there's a war starting, all kinds of crazy stuff. So it might be a little bit uncorrelated for a little while, right? But I don't think that war, America is just now pulling troops out of Ukraine. So I think we've kind of like shown our hand that we're really not gonna fight in that war. So that could be good. All right, let's move on here. Um, okay, th this is mind blowing, you guys. I want you to focus on this point. If you forget everything else, focus on this point, okay? 
With CPI at 7.5% and many stable coin yields at 8%, crypto is the only place keeping consumer afloat. Everyone else is getting wrecked. Even Listen to what this means. Even if you put all of your money in Bitcoin, which I don't recommend you do, even if Bitcoin was declining at a rate of 10% per year, you would still break even because fiat is inflating so fast. So it, you have to put your money somewhere right now, right? You cannot leave it in cash unless you have a purchase coming up or you're a college student or something like that. Now, there are other ways to get protection like real estate and things like that, but this just should drill through your head how dangerous inflation is. It's eroding your capital. By doing nothing, you're doing something. It's kind of like a man in a drowning boat, right? I mean, not a drowning boat, fell out of a boat and is drowning in the water. If he's just not trying to rescue himself, he's going to die either way, right? It's, it's crazy. Okay. BlackRock is working to get a crypto trading wing set up. Now, I know there's already a million crypto trading exchanges, Binance, KuCoin, Coinbase, whatever. But BlackRock is an institutional, it will be an institutional exchange for their 1,500 customers to trade crypto. Okay, I told you I would, I would save the best for last. So let's look at my final point here. And I said this back in the summertime. This is Tech Dev. He's a super famous analyst on Twitter. But this is what I said. If you guys go back and find my TikToks, I made like 20 videos on this. Why Bitcoin is not impulse since early 2021. He lists all these different indicators that he's showing here, but then his conclusion is, I don't know if you can see this, let me scroll up. His conclusion is, we are ending a year plus correction, not starting one. This is what I said, that if you guys can see back in late 2021, this was the impulse move, the bull market here. And then since then, we've actually been in a bear market. How could we be in a bear market when Bitcoin's been at 30 to 60K? Well, you got to remember what I said in the very beginning. You got to get your brain around this idea that the next bear market after the previous one, the lows are going to be higher, right? Like th th this could be the bear market bottom range, 30 to 60K. And you can see that his trend line he's drawn here, this blue line, is actually has declined since then. And I thought the same thing too, that even though we broke all time highs in the fall of 2021, that the end of the bull market was actually in early 2021, and that was kind of a dead cat bounce. All of our indicators have been bearish since then. You guys, there's a ton of other indicators that I could bring on, but I'm trying to keep this video relatively short, such as you know long-term, short-term holder ratio, people who are in profit, not in profit. So I am making the argument to you guys that, okay, fine, I admit my title's a tiny bit clickbait because I don't know if the 100,000 is gonna happen right now in 2022 or maybe 2023, but I think you need to keep your mind open to the possibility that we've been in a bear market situation for almost a year now, and there's going to be some accumulation. And that desperation and depression that you feel right now is the sign of a bear market, okay? I've said my piece. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Maybe share it with a friend. Thanks for watching, guys.